Hey guys, welcome to Fairhope, Alabama. Today, I'm going to show you around Fox Hollow. Let's check out this model home. Hey guys, welcome into the Pecan model home in Fox Hollow subdivision, Fairhope, Alabama. Today, we're gonna to go through the model and then we'll come back another day and show you some more homes in the subdivision. But four bedrooms, three baths, just over 2,500 square feet, priced in the low 580s. They have another one that's in the 570s. And we're gonna walk you through it today and show you all the layout and the great features that it has to offer. As I look at the home, Truland Homes offers a nice lighting package. So you've got recessed can lights in your corners of the exterior. You've got wood shutters, a fortified brick exterior, southern porch right here as you walk up. It's got the, the uh, hardy plank siding that's accented against the brick and you've got the columns with the light fixture hanging down. And you've, nice, you've got this nice wood custom door with glass. It just gives it a really charming look where you've got room for your rocking chairs. You've got room for adding maybe a, a swing or a bench. It's just a really nice sitting feature for that afternoon coffee or just meeting friends. Two car garage right here to your left and let's go on inside. As you walk in the front door, you immediately walk right into this foyer area. Throughout all the entertainment areas and into the master bedroom, we've got real wood floors, so engineered hardwood flooring. As you come right in, you've got the upgraded trim package, once again, throughout the entire entertainment areas, and you've got lots of molding, and then right here to your left, it walks right into a formal dining room with chair rail molding, Nice window overlooking the front, just a nice ambient space with tons of natural light coming in. If you don't need a formal dining room, these have become great places for a card table, a pool table, even a uh, home office. If you were to wall this in, you could put a desk in here if you needed a, a home office or a fifth bedroom. Coming through the formal dining room, it walks right into this cozy living area. We've got 10 foot ceilings throughout this area. We've got this nice gas fireplace with a mantle right here with a brick surround and it all looks right into this gourmet kitchen, which has a great focal point. Two things that I love about this gourmet kitchen, you've got this white tile backsplash all along the cook side. And then I love, Chris, bring it right in here close. Let's show this off real quick. I love the color of this green, green island right here. I've actually not seen that color used before and it just looks very Fairhope, very earthy, very, very cool. So walking into this gourmet kitchen, I mentioned the white backsplash right here. We've got a gas cooktop, vented hood. I love the upgraded cabinetry they use that kind of hides the vent right there. It looks really nice. And then you've got cabinets with soft closed drawers on either side, stainless appliances, a deep, basically a stainless farmhouse sink, quartz counters, which got some nice, kind of a gray or brown veining to them. And it all looks from this kitchen over the island right back into the open living area looks really nice. If you'll flip areas with me, Chris, we've got refrigerator right here, you've got your microwave and your oven, and it all walks right into this large pantry. Modern homes know how to do a pantry, and you got this nice walk-in pantry with wood shelving, plenty of space for everything that you need to store for your food and game prep and entertainment. And then walk, I'm gonna walk back around the island this way, and you can follow me into the breakfast area right here. So at the end of the kitchen, there's this nice little breakfast area that they've got staged. We've got this chandelier hanging down and it looks over your backyard view as well as your back porch. Now that we've seen the kitchen and the breakfast area, let's take you over to this side of the house, past the living area and check out the master suite and the extra bedroom that's on that side of the home. Right off the entrance on this side of the house, we've got bedroom number one because we haven't seen one yet. And bedroom number one has nice tall ceilings. We've got basically cased out doorways and closets, cased out trim package around the window, and it looks really ambient, just a nice natural light coming in off the front of the home. We've got one of your three full bathrooms right here. If you follow me in this way, you've got the same quartz from the kitchen. You've got kind of a framed out mirror with a nice kind of earth, kind of a, it's got some gray in it, so gray and brown tone there, it looks really nice. Same color down here on these upper, these lower cabinets. And you've got actually a soft closed drawer there, so that's kind of nice. And then I love the uh, tile work that they've used around this fiberglass tub. You basically got a, basically a surround of a ceramic tile with an inset there for your soap and that kind of shampoo. It looks really, really nice. 
And then coming into the master suite, this is a very nice master. You've got tray ceiling that goes from nine to 10 foot. You've got crown molding in the tray. You've got recessed lighting, four park hands there with a fan in the middle. As you can see, it's just a nice spacious room. This is a king size bed. You've still got a lot of room in here. Painted a neutral gray, feels very cozy in here. Plenty of room to put your dresser and your nightstands and maybe have another piece over here as you come into the room. And I love the engineered hardwoods that's throughout all the entertainment areas. So the hardwood floors, once again, are through the entryway entertainment areas and then into the master. Your extra bedrooms are carpeted. So bedrooms two, three, and four have a carpet floor. Walking into the master bath, a beautiful way to either start or finish the day is what I say. You've got basically a nice light gray ceramic tile floor. It goes up that same color as a surround around this deep fiberglass tub there. So this is a, to bring the camera in right here, this is a, a soaker tub. This is one that you really could get in here and, uh, and disappear into. So this is a nice big tub. I'm about six foot and I've got plenty of room to, to disappear into this tub. And then on either side of the master bath, you've got a his and her vanity right there, which is super convenient. And then it walks right into a master shower with a frameless door. I love that feature. It's one of my favorite features in a shower. And then you've got this nice light gray tile that basically doesn't go floor to ceiling, but it goes maybe a good, say, seven and a half feet up into the air. Uh, so you got another foot and a half above my head and I'm about six feet tall. So nice detail, very luxurious. I uh, love the look. Then you've got your commode right here. If you'll swing the camera around, right here on either side of the entrance into the master bath, you've got walk-in closets. So you've got closets with wood shelving, you've got dual racks, so you've got a rack down there, a rack above, it wraps around here, and then you've basically got an area for shoes and that kind of thing over here on this side. And opposite of that is the same setup. So it's another dual walk-in closet on the other side as you come in. Plenty of storage. That's one of the things that modern homes do really well is plenty of closet space and storage and it makes living so convenient. Now that we've seen the master, let's go check out bedrooms three and four on the other side of the house. Hey guys, real quick, did you know that I can help you find your Barbie dream house? If you're looking to move to Fairhope, Alabama, Daphne, Alabama, or Spanish Four, I can help you find exactly what you're looking for. My information is below. Thank you for checking out this tour today. Now back to the tour. All right, guys, we're back on the kitchen side, opposite of the master suite. It walks right in here off the breakfast area into a, basically a built-in desk area. And you've got this built-in desk, you've got a bookshelf, great place to pull off a laptop, get some homework done, maybe check a few emails before you start your day. Just a cool little space. It could also be, you could put a door right here and make this a new walk-in pantry if you needed additional pantry space or more storage. Walks right into bedroom number three, once again with the cased out windows, neutral gray walls all the way around. It looks really, really nice. This is gonna lead to a Jack and Jill bath, which I'll take you in in just a second. And then right here in the corner is a super large walk-in closet that is a nice feature. You've got a uh, hanging space, uh, upper and lower, and it goes around the corner. Inside this Jack and Jill bath, it's got the nice gray tile floors from the master bath. You got really the same colors from the hallway bath with the quartz counters, the kind of the gray and the brown cabinets. Linen closet right here in the middle. And then behind this door, it walks into a combo tub shower and a commode. All right, guys, coming in from the two car garage, it walks right into this receiving room drop zone. Got this little mudroom area here. We've got some nice bead boards, some shelving, a place to hang a coat, put your shoes underneath. You've got a coat closet right here opposite the drop zone area. And then one thing that I really like is just having a window of some sort to give you some natural light coming in to start your day or maybe to finish the day. Just being able to look outside is a nice touch for me. And then check out the size of this washroom. This laundry area has ceramic tile floors, plenty of space to bring in your washer and dryer. I love the feature of having a utility sink. That's something that I miss in my current home that I don't have anymore. And then you've got this nice long cabinet up here and then you could even put some hanging rack space up there if you wanted to hang things coming off the dryer. And then right here, you've got a closet on your way out of the room. Basically another, we'll call, I'm gonna call it a broom closet, but another cloak closet that complements the one across the hall. 
if you didn't have enough coat closets, there's another coat closet right here at the end of this hallway as you receive into the home. And it all walks into this first bedroom right here, which is bedroom number four. Yeah. All right, guys, now that you've seen the layout and seen everything there is to see inside, let's go check out this covered back porch. Out here, this covered back porch features a nice gray brick surround. You've got a nice tongue and groove ceiling with a recessed light. Over here on this far wall is your electrical and your coaxial cable for hooking up your, basically mounting your television up there, running your power, connecting to the cable. Really is nice right there. And then you could even screen this in and give you a nice place to get away, finish the day, and keep all those creepy crawly bugs off of you in the summer afternoons. Beautiful home. You've got a nice large yard, really, really flat fully sodded. And one thing that's really nice about Truland Homes is they actually give you an irrigation system included with every package. So when you move in, in this summer heat, in the southern summer heat, you don't have to worry about watering the grass because the irrigation system will be on a set and forget status for you to keep your yard looking healthy and looking green. A beautiful home. I hope you've enjoyed the model home tour. Keep watching. If you want to see more homes in the Fox Hollow subdivision, click right here. And if you, want to, you do not want to miss anything we do going forward, you can subscribe right here.